Ah, you know, there was one. There's Kay Whiskers. There's one cat. Good kitty, you stay here. Uh, good cat. Uh, where's Charlotte going? There she is. Puss puss. What's going on? Oh, you big cat. Ah, oh, cute. Cute little fair ball. Also, uh, yeah, picked up the little fire extinguisher from the scrap bin at my dad's cousin's house. Same scrap bin he had sitting there, and he had a wash machine and dishwashers in there. I pulled the motors out of, good for writing the parts out of why they go on the scrap metal. So you get the useful parts that I want out of them. Got this little uh, fire extinguisher, took the top out, took the inner tube out, decided, well, Let's tap a um, quarter inch BSP thread in the tiny um, custom threads that are in this thing. There was fine threaded brass pipe that went down in there to the bottom of this tank. So I thread tapped a quarter inch BSP thread. Standard fitting, so we've got plenty of these bloody fittings, so it suited that. It's a bit, a tiny bit bloody, um, the tiniest bit not uh, off the one side. So it's not 100% straight, but by the time this fitting screwed all the way in, it's perfect. You wouldn't even know. It's a, use some, a product called Lock Seal. It's good stuff. I think it's a similar stuff they use on gas bottles here. Only this stuff, I don't think this stuff is quite as hard setting, so you can get these undone if you want to change fittings later on. Sets it in 24 hours. It's a little bit runny there. All it does is just pack the feds and it's kind of acts a bit like Loctite. And it's a sealant. It sits inside these threads. Like liquid thread tape. Budding solid, but it's a piece of crap. We bought, um... Uh, my dad bought this one particular one from. The brand that I've got is called Lock Seal. This product here is better. And the budding's crap. This came from a professional plumber shop. Good stuff. Good stuff. High pressure thread setter for gas and liquids. Up to 3000 kPa. Potable water approved, oxygen BAM tested. Good stuff. Don't go to Bunnings if you want stuff like that. Because we bought a bottle, where is it? I think it's in here. This Chinese made crap. It does not work. Liquid seal it. Yeah, not very good. We used it with the water for the plumbing in the house. We gave it a good 10 to 20 minutes to cure fully. It's pretty tight, tight um, sealed thread too. Even after 24 hours, we put the sink in and turned the water back on. And it uh, started leaking, dripping. So that stuff's crap. Don't go to Bunnings. This is a better brand of the same stuff. So you use this instead of thread tap on my air, uh, air compressor stuff. Good stuff. Dad's also made some improvements and drawed screws into my bloody drawers. But anyway, they're like short screws. Yeah. Yeah, it still tears easily. It's good. A little bit stiff, but yeah, it's laid down for you. Yeah, I do miss the shed. It's getting better with organise it like this. But yeah, I miss the old shed we used to have. Yeah. Now the idea of this is, so I want something portable and small. I could have used my one of these gas bottles I got in the container, but having that inside to blow little for little tiny jobs, nah, this is better. Even if I could cook up a little fridge compressor for this and a pressure gauge, which would be my um long-term project. Dig out one of your fridge compressors, plumb it in with a gauge, I can just charge this thing, have a little small on-desk on air compressor for blowing computers out. Be perfect for that. One of those crappy, leaky, bloody sleeve valves for now. Not very good. They always leak. Until I can find a good quality small ball valve I've got somewhere to put on there. I don't like these sleeve valves because they always leak. Yeah, Chinese air compressors have these. This is quite an earlier one from... Well, the older ones are better, but the newer ones are crap. 
I've also sprayed some um, paint in there that we're not that normally care about. So this this is just a brand, by the way, rust oleum. They make um, proper rust protection stuff as well in America. But this is just a particular brand of paint by rust oleum Bunning Cell. It's kind of um, DIY home grade wood, metal, and more. Put them on your furniture. Just basic house patch up, outdoor furniture patch up job sort of spray. I'll decide to dump a heap of it in here just to give us some extra um, rust protection so it doesn't blow out chunks of rust and uh, some moisture in there over time. It's not the. I mean, it's. It's not the. It's good enough for, to um, protect against rust anyway, it doesn't kill rust as such. See, I sprayed it all in there too because that was all bare metal, it looks better than I painted it. Perfect. I always get one of these fire extinguishers, so I always, um, yeah. Been wanting to get one of these sorts of small tanks for a while. They're just handy to have. Hey, scrapyards, especially high on voltage run rules, they're always at the scrapyard there. I'll be getting the um, CO2 ones, the thick, thick pressed steel walled some of this heavy duty high pressure ones. Set a heap of those up under, under your workbench, there's a bank of tanks for the compressed air. Instead of a one bulky little Chinese compressor. Hey, you sound here. Good to have. There's also a minion, minion figure, minion syndrome. There's a guy that makes minions out of these little tanks. He rolls a face on it, paints it yellow, rolls arms and legs, makes minions out of them. He even does it with big gas bottles and makes um, um, heaters, fire pits out of them. <laughs> That's a pretty good job. Professional water fabricator used to be. Now he just does all these um, art creations out of scrap metal. But like in here, no leaks without um, lock seal in there. The air compressor stays here now. Finally arranged to stay here, you've got to have an air compressor. So yeah, stuffed without it. Anyway, let's uh, turn the air back on, pump it up and we can um, fully pressurise this little tank. Get it to store its pressure at full potential. Not the best for the charger, but I put that on there. Double it up to two Jamex together. With a male adapter. Charge the tank up quickly. Pull it out, block that, pull it out of the hose. That's charge equal the same as this tank now. You're almost 150 PSI in there. And it's not leaking. Now this bloody thing, the seat in there is damaged. It doesn't want to seal completely the seat inside that. Bloody thing. Got to get a new one of those. Once the seat starts getting pitted, that's it. And the rubber washer just shave it down a certain amount of time to try and reseat it. This never stops bloody leaking. This thing's not leaking at all. It's sealed up quite well. Nice little air tank. And a small fridge compressor on a pressure gauge, this thing will be a perfect little air reservoir for blowing out computers and laptops. What I got it for, I sort of made it for, and uh, Dad also wanted a light in the shed, so I got me that arcade light. And uh, it's only a 15 water. I bought a cool white tube for it from Bunnings. One of the last of the um, better ones, Indonesian made uh, Phillips globe. All well, the newer ones on the shelf are from China, so I've got the best globe. That was left on the shelf. I've also seen some LED ones there, but not for them ones, only for the long uh, normal normal floors. Anyway, let's have a good look at this thing. Mmm, so small smell that paint. Not one leak. Not one leak. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good little air tank. Now, uh, had I had still been on the farm, this would have made a good little air cannon. But uh, unfortunately, these days are over. Hmm. Fun times. Fun times. So I said, the bloody farm was good for that. Air cannons, battery popping, PFC cap pops and loud bangs. Awesome for that. Good for hobby use of that, perfect, but uh, not can do and not can do in town, not can do. Neighbourhood will probably be figuring, what the, yeah, neighbourhood will start getting worried for this sort of stuff here. 
That's probably good for the back out here, but yeah, nah. It's not getting caught. You can shoot little things, a bit like the tree stumps in my backyard with rocks and stuff, but nah. There's always someone that might dob you in. So yeah. Yeah, you can press the tank. Anyway, and here for the pies. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.